on today's show. Let's talk, talk about, about breasts, baby. everybody. <laughs> Boy, is today going to be an amazing show for you. I'm Ross Gorzewski, the host of the Dr. Patrick Flynn Show, also being joined once again by the man, the myth, the legend, the hormone whisperer, the man who can speak to your hormones better than anybody possibly can on this ball of dirt that we reside. And today's, <laughs> and today's topic, you just heard us sing a little bit. It's all about boobies. 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 And this is all you... Come on, talk yeah, to me. Yeah, actually, the talk point is Nancy and Ross had the, the show planned today, but clinically something uh, popped up uh, big time. And so what happened is I said, Ross, we're going to go into this at a different angle because uh, I want to interrupt our normally scheduled program to talk about <laughs> boobies. Do you say And because this is common oh, that way. No. So so I'm going to put more a warning common. out there. Yes. Do we have like, Nancy, do we have like a warning sign out there? It's like, listen, because you know what? It's really funny. People have been attending my seminar. And actually, it's really funny because uh, when people ask me questions, I'm direct. And, and someone posts a comment said, Doc says inappropriate, vulgar things. Okay, so I'm warning you. There's going to be inappropriate, inappropriate vulgar things. Which to us is basic anatomy and some of that. But some person's going to be offended by something that way. So I'm giving you a warning. Do you say I'm Ross doesn't even know what we're gonna talk about today? This is this, no, usually it's usually I'm in it's the dark. The, usually it's the opposite. Usually I'm the one doing it, but I had to actually bring this out intentionally that way. Yes. So if you're offended from even the word boobies, guess what? Don't watch today's show. Okay. Does that mean you. I can leave? Yeah. <laughs> That's offended by boobies. Okay. Oh my god. I just like the term boobies. It's better than breastesis. You know what I'm saying? It's not breastesis. It's like <laughs> what is breastesis? I don't know. Here we are offending you once That's again right. on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. But well, clinically, yes. I have been dealing with boobies for 19 years. But something is massively uh, becoming a very hot topic today. And and clinically, I just had a person that I still take care of that way, um, I actually uh, go through something that I believe that need to be talked about. And I got all of her clinical things uh, that happened and I got uh, reports from the doctor and stuff like that from their surgeon and I wanted to bring it up today because I think that, that once again, breast health is so important. Yes. Why I think we need to talk about breast tissue and stuff like that is yes, it's a funny topic so we're going to make fun of some of the things on there and that's why people get, you know, uh, People think it's inappropriate, some of the things we say, but that's okay because at least we got to make light of this because one thing that you don't want to make light of is that breast cancer with all the medical technology is still an all-time high. Sure. It's an all-time high. Absolutely. So the seriousness of the show is important. So what I wanted to share with you guys today, it's kind of funny because now I'm leading direction. Yes, you Isn't are. Isn't that funny? I'm just so, for the ride, riding on your coattails so I'm, today. I'm, I'm pulling up my, my you know labs and stuff like that, my email here that way. So I'll give you an example. So here's what happens is there was a lady um, that I been taking care of that way once again. Um, and and um, it started with her kids because she had children that were sick and now the kids, uh, uh, and even she had a baby not too long ago that way. And the baby is going through some stuff. And one of the ways, long story short, is um, she actually decided to have her breast implants removed. Ah. So you didn't know where I was going with this one. But here's implants. the here was the thing. Well, and we talked about implants before, but yes, this is have. this is a real this is what we deal with as clinicians all day long. Well, what happened is whenever you have unexplained illness, you always gotta look for some infection or toxin that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what had happened was I said, listen. Um, so she had them removed. Okay. Now the one thing what is this. What was the reason for having them removed? By the way. Um. Basically, she was having some toxicity levels, and I'm like, there's okay. no doubt that these things are leaking. Now they tell most women that they're not, but what ended up happening was we ended up saying, okay, listen, um, um, because of some of the things you're going through, it's just a very toxic level. Burden on her liver was high. Well, guess what happened? So she, th she had them removed, and all of a sudden they found out that where they were leaking. So she was actually dealing with silicone toxicity. 
Now it gets better. Now remember, I'm giving you the exact wording from their doctors and their reports here, okay? So it's kind of funny because here's what happened. The, the capsules, you know, the, the breast implant, mm -hmm. you know, they got the, the fluid in there. Well, there's silicone in actually the, the, the capsule itself that way. The capsule had decreased by almost three quarters of the size. Now let me explain that. That means the immune system has been attacking, attacking. them yes. and breaking them down. Okay, and it started to actually cause a little bit of a leak in there, and now that fluid, for example, was actually leaking, causing toxicity. Now, this is actually in their report. But okay, it's supposed to be safe, though, Doc. Um, well, what they what they mean by that is if they don't have any damage or breakdown, they're relatively inert. I disagree with that. Now, let me explain why. If you have a basic sliver, your body inflames, trying to remove something that doesn't belong there. And see, so it's like, like this. I've had people, I've had patients, like I've, you guys heard me use the example. I've had a, a young guy who was losing testosterone levels like crazy. They couldn't figure out why. And then found out he had maxillary surgery, had titanium put into his jaw. And people say, well, doc, that's mainly you know, inert. Not to everybody. Sure. And he was swelling up. The, we tested him for a titanium allergy. He had a high titanium allergy. They removed it. His testosterone levels came back up. Okay, Drunk, he had to go through a whole nother surgery. This young lady had to go through a whole nother breast implant uh, removal that way and reconstruction. Okay, now they so she did actually go back into reconstruction and had well, them no, no, augmented. No, she had them, you know, just basically tightened and moved around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just curious because yeah. obviously. You ever notice the guys talk about boobies? They go like this. You know what I'm saying? It's like my hands you know, are right here. <laughs> so, I'm not doing anything. Uh, well, obviously she went in because there was a reason for getting them. But well, the because I noticed. Removed. Here's the thing. And it's a tough conversation I had to have with her. I noticed that, um, you know, breast implants, for example, they, you know, when you go through a certain exam and stuff like that, I say, ladies, whenever you, you go through a certain exam when you have a breast implant, it's different than if you go through a breast exam when you don't have implants. And so when I, when I started to notice that the, she was telling me that there's tenderness, now no. Now physically, once again, I've only met this woman when she came and heard me speak. She doesn't live here in Green Bay that way. And so I do everything by phone. And I would say, listen, you got to examine here. You got to know these things. I'm like, ah, there's some leakage. There's some sure. things in there. But I didn't get to the good part yet. Come on. We're not even to the, the bad part yet. So the immune system was knocking them down. Mm -hmm. There was, was toxicity. Yep. Her liver was being overburdened by toxicity that way. But here was the biggest part. Here was the cool, here was, oh, I, I don't know why I said cool because it's, it's uncool. It's not cool, yeah. Okay, but I think the cool because the doctor recognized it that way. And so here's what happens, is guess what they found within and around the breast implant? Dun, dun, dun. Mold. Go figure. Mold. How in the world does mold end up on the inside of a body? Well, got to remember, any back, any microbial needs fluid. Just remember that. That's like people say, Doc, you know, a child's got an ear infection. Well, that means the fluid isn't draining out of the ear. The sure. bacteria, there's bacteria everywhere. But bacteria replicate and, and grow within a medium of a fluid that way. So what happened is, so bacteria got in there, and, and no joke, she literally just texted me about an hour ago, and she's getting the pictures of them taken. But in her report, they talk about the mold. Uh, so grief. she was actually, so she was actually getting mold toxicity from the breast itself. Okay. Now confirmed by her surgeon. Do you say him? Confirmed by her surgeon. Do you say him? It's kind of mind blowing. Actually, it's, it's, think, it's yeah, yeah it, it, it's so common. Do you say him? See, that's one thing. When now, the, here's what medicine does. So that mold, and, and let's say even so, forget the mold. Let's say the let's say the the uh, uh, breast implant itself. The saline. The breast yeah. implant mm -hmm. itself is no different than a sliver. Your immune system now has to work a little bit harder because it recognized something forward. Right. Number one, stress on the body. Number two, it actually wore it down causes leakage, causes silicone toxicity that way. Number two, there's your second toxic aspect that way. Medicine in their thinking only deals with the end stage of those results. Sure. So sure. if they would have left that in there, what they would have done is she would have transpired into more conditions and more, more illnesses that way, and medicine deals with the end stage, and they're the smart doctors. No, they're not. Do you understand? They're always chasing after the effect. And I'm sitting there going, it's your boobies. <laughs> do you see it? Oh my now, God. ladies, I understand this. I do understand this. This is the part where sometimes people think I'm vulgar. Girls, look at me. Okay, understand this. I know your boobies are important to you. I know you want them to stay as high as possible. I know when you have kids, they're beat up into like raisins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I understand that. I do. I get it. Okay, I, I listen to you do there. But you got to understand, you, you, you put yourself in a situation 
Uh, remember, it's the organ that is not taken care of properly will cause you more detriment and more stress every history because breast cancer is all time high. It's all time high. You say, Em, it's so important to be so particular with this tissue of your body. Because once again, if you think of this way, it's the number one major disease for women. Do you know there are over 300,000 women a year that get this done? I know. It's insane. We live in a society where it's all about image. And yeah. we can see, uh, obviously, through these types of reports that women are very unsatisfied with the size of their memory glands yep. and therefore going through this procedure without even testing to see if they could possibly have a sensitivity. But even if they didn't have, didn't have a reaction to it that way, it's still a foreign tissue. Sure. Even a hip replacement is still a foreign tissue. Yes. Your immune system will act, it's see, but titanium immune system is never gonna break it down. Breast implants, for example, are not titanium. <laughs> no titanium <laughs> boobies, okay? <laughs> there, somebody's offended. There you go, someone's offended about titanium it. Titanium right? memories. Yes, it's so, but, but think about this. It, it, it was massively devastating to her, and now, you're thinking of it this way. Now she has to deal, not only with the effects of the surgery getting removed, because you gotta heal from there, she has to, we have to clear out the silicone, clear yeah. out all the toxicity for her, which could take A months. Debridement, but yeah. on top of it, she's riddled her body with mold. Riddle their body with mold, okay? That's what I'm talking about. And, I, and I'm not joking, guys, think about this. The average healthcare practitioner, I don't care if you're a PhD in every medical thing in the world, all they deal with is the end stage. Sure. What did the, the breast simple, plant, yeah. what did the breast implant cause? That's what they deal with, the end stage disease. No treatment. That's not what healthcare is about. You know what I'm saying? I've always said healthcare is not healthcare, it's sick care. Healthcare, for example, is disease related that way. Durham. I agree that this breast implant and, and what was happening to her was causing major illness. And it, sure. I had this idea that I'm like, but it's my job as an investigative doctor to go, okay, where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Well, she had three major things. She had an inflammatory reaction just alone by having them. Number two, she had toxicity. Number three, she had mold poisoning. That's it. Do you I've got Sam? these pictures right here. All documented you. in the reports from her doctor. There was a, uh, it was, I think it was Hugh Hefner's wife a couple years ago who yep. was experiencing a bunch of symptoms. If I were to read all the symptoms, you'd be absolutely... Just read a couple. Well, read right. a couple on this because, once again, it's, 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 it's so important for women to know this. They're calling this uh, breast implant illness. And yep. some of the symptoms are fatigue or chronic fatigue, uh, cognitive dysfunction, muscle aches, pain and weakness, joint pain and soreness, hair loss, dry skin... I mean, the list now, goes once again, on which is and just on and on. inflammatory diseases. Low libido. You say it? Nice it's sweats. just inflammation. Yeah, it just keeps going. Yep. So when she had these implants removed, they actually have pictures right here. And these things are crazy looking. They have yeah. mold all over them to think that that was inside of her body and probably the at the same too. I, it's just, it's now, mind boggling. Here it gets, here it gets, it's, well, I say better, it gets worse. Think about this. She was also nursing a baby. Oh, jeez. So Which what do you think? What do you think, for passing. example, why her child was going through some crazy things yep. that way? Yep. And if not addressed, and, her, and she's a wonderful mom, she's a wonderful wife, she's a wonderful lady, and she's trying to do the best for her child, and she's give, and she wants to make sure to breastfeed for over a year, da 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 da, and doesn't realize, for example, she didn't know that that was passing down. So we have to also detox the kids. Yes. We also have to remove that aspect that way because that will pass through the breast milk. The body's very good at protecting itself, but not doesn't protect, can't protect itself from everything. Do you say I'm? And so, and, and wrong, and even, well, I have to give the surgeon great credit, because surgeon's like, man, you gotta clear this out, and you gotta be careful of breastfeeding and stuff like that, and it's like, I actually gave that surgeon some great credit, because he was just sure. like, man, Give these things problems. were pretty bad on mm -hmm. you. Do you say I'm? So that's why when, when they talk about the safety of them that way, even if there wasn't any toxic material whatsoever, even if it was just fluid, even if it was just water, sure, you, it's still a breeding ground for bacteria mold. Do you say I'm? That's why if you ever look, here, take a carpet, dump a little water on there. Mold can go. Mold, yeah. All mold needs is the fluid. Doesn't matter if it's toxic fluid or good fluid that way. Right. All it needs that way. So it was, uh, but, but to have this so well documented, now once again, stuff like this that the surgeon and the doctors wrote down won't make headline news. Right. Do you say I'm? Won't make medical stuff that way. Won't be, you know, once again, if you think of it this way, it's just a feeder to more med medicine and drugs. So what are you saying now with, with the breast augmentation and what this young lady went through? Now yep. you're, you're talking to a population out there where there's probably a high percentage of the women who are watching who have had a procedure done. Yep. So is it fear tactics? Are you telling them that they need to go get them removed? Or what's that next step for somebody who's had this augmentation? Um, I honestly think they should be having them removed. 
You're asking my opinion yeah, now. Yes, I am. I actually think they should have them removed because it's going to lead to nothing but bad stuff. You see him? Actually, no, the funny part is this. So I live in the world of boobies, okay? It's just it's just what I do every day. It's what I've taught docs. <laughs> I get the, great ladies, uh, you can send me any emails. It's that way. It's kind of funny. I literally get emails where women will say, doc, but you understand. I always say I don't understand. I don't understand because I don't have to go through you two ladies go through that way, but I actually have dealt with for so long. Ladies will always say, Doc, the kids and breastfeeding destroy my breast tissue. I don't disagree with that. You know, if you want to have a little bit of reconstruction, fine. But there's actually, Safe, I will tell you this. Healthier there's options. actually, they're at, now it doesn't last more than like three years, but they actually have um, procedures where they're removing it from ladies' butts and injecting their own tissue into their, into the breast tissue. Fat and, cells? Yeah, fat cells and everything. And it's actually working. It's actually, but what they say, it's kind of funny. I've been reading all reports on it. They talk about, but the body actually oh breaks God. it down over the course of three to five years. So you lose and have to do the procedure again. That's fine because here's what happens. At least you're actually not, you know, pulling any foreign tissue. It's just it's moving from one part of the body yeah, to the exactly. other that way. There are clinics that are doing that way and having great success. And I've been watching all the journals on it and watching what the reports are and the safety of that way. And they're having some pretty good responses with that way. Now, I'm not saying, ladies, now, here, let me talk to you from this point, okay? Let me talk to you from this point. Any guy, for example, that would, um, that would actually make you feel bad because your, your boobs got beat up from children and things like that. Blame them. Isn't a real man. I'm sorry, isn't a real man. Isn't conscious of that that right. way. Shame on him. Have 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 uh, have somebody pull his testicles for nine months and actually in the and and see what happens to his look of his yeah his genitals and actually <laughs> see what it's like for him. This is and all look at him Nancy. Today. Like, all I'm gonna offend somebody today. today. I'm sorry, but it just frustrates me because because ladies, you don't understand. It's like any man that would treat you like they kick his ass to the curb. Do you say it? I'm sorry, but it's like and I don't. I I, yeah, I get your emails. I say my husband wants me to have breast implants because this this this. Tell him find a different wife. Take him for half. Do you know what I'm saying? I know Nancy's laughing I, there. I don't know what to say to some of this right now. Well, I, I, here's what happens. Because you know why? <laughs> because, and my doctors have experienced this. Yes. We've, we've seen this clinically. This is not the first time this has happened. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just becoming more prevalent today. Because young ladies, I actually get this. It's getting not a joke. younger and My sister, when we were living in Georgia, my sister lived in Georgia, okay, she um, had an acquaintance of hers that actually, their mom was a plastic surgeon. And for her 18th birthday, gave her daughter breast implants. Good Lord. Good Lord. At 18, you can still Good grow Lord. a bunch of boobs. Do you say it? Say again. At 18, you can still grow a bunch of boobs. A bunch of boobs? You only bunch get two. <laughs> yeah, say it. No, about, okay. Um, they think you become more voluptuous, okay? <laughs> and stuff. So, yeah. It yeah. is sad because, you know, it's, like sad. I said, it's society. It's driven you know, with all. Now, look, social media is not a bad thing. But unfortunately, what people use it for at times is bad because you have a lot of these image issues and low self-esteem issues. So therefore, yeah. what do they do? They go for augmentation without potentially realizing the potential dangers of such yep. an act. Yep. It's insane. It it's really absolutely is. insane. I would have never thought about this. My mother... Uh, who had uh, breast cancer, who's had, you know, the, what do they call it, like a, the remake yeah. of the upstairs. You know, she's had to have those removed a couple times because, yes, the saline had uh, broken down yep. and she had to go in and have debridement yep. and all this stuff. And thank God she didn't get really sick from it. Yep. But it's really crazy. I'm, I'm still kind of baffled by this. And when I started looking at it and the, the pictures of a moldy implant well, that was on the inside, that's just, it's unnerving. It gets better in here. I never would have thought that. The amount of scar tissue and stuff the surgeon had to scrape out and stuff, and I can't wait to see the pictures on it, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the amount of scar tissue he reported to actually scrape out and pull aye, from the damage aye. that the immune system was trying to protect itself yes. that way. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Now think about this. We're just talking about breasts. What about the rest of your body, you know what I'm saying? What about mm. the things that went on there that way? Do you saying That tissue now, for example, is basically scarred the rest of its life. So it's like, yeah, this is, it's been, it's been a quite an intense conversation and I had to keep her from just saying, okay, relax. We're going to, we're, we're going to clear stuff out. We're going to do stuff like that because once again, the, the report will scare you alone. So you're talking about like detox, you're getting that body back to a place where it can begin to work on pulling that junk out of there. Yep. 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 Yeah. Because, Eesh. and then on top of it, then you got to do the same thing to the kids. And she's had them for, I think, like 12 years. So therefore, mm. once again, her kids are not 12 years old. So there could have been leakage and damage that she was passed on to the kids back then. Because ladies, it's true. 
You know, I got such massive hate mail a long time ago when I actually did a did a, a did a talk that said uh, uh, sick moms create sick babies. Sick babies. And oh my goodness, I actually have people say you're 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 uh, um, you know discouraging moms. I'm saying no, I'm not. I'm saying be healthy, be healthy before yes. you get pregnant. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Because you're going to create that little bugger. And if you're sick as a dog, you know, that's why I love when women get pregnant and they eat like crap. That's like saying. I, I watch this. I watch women literally. I watch women literally um, go through and pick out the best material for their house because when they remodel or build a new house, they got to have the best. Sure. And then when they're pregnant, they put crap in their body. And then no one says, and here's where, here's where I think why people don't like me sometimes. I look and go, you shouldn't be having that baby. Do you know why? Because you're going to create a little monster. You're going to create a sick yep, kid sick and stuff like that. I have this, actually I'll say this, at my church. I had a woman, for example, that had an autoimmune disease, and um, she came in to ask me a couple, some advice, and I'm like, and she was just hugely sick, and she's like, I want to get pregnant. I'm like, you don't want to get pregnant right now, because once again, you, you're, you're so autoimmune conditioned that way, and you're going to pass it on to the baby and things like that, and guess what happened? Lo and behold, her, she ended up having a baby. The baby's sick as can be, still sick. The kid's like six years old. You said, you I'm going, it. You I did. I'm like, yep. listen, I'm like, get yourself to a healthy state that way. Oh, doc, you're shaming women. No, I'm not. I'm saying, listen, do you know what? Now they're complaining about having a sick child. I'm like, and I looked there. I said, you create it. She you never talked to me again. Place. She still, I still wow. walked her to church. She oh, really? wouldn't even look at me. Really? Wouldn't even look at me. And if I said her name and her initials are skin, <laughs> you guys both Be know her nice. personally. Yeah. You, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, try. Like they said, oh, well, see, I'm not being involved. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, being involved. Yeah, don't do it. No, don't I wouldn't do do, I went say it. Right. right. But if you email me, I'll say, no, skin. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point. But here, <laughs> but what doc is going to say, enough's enough. Mm -hmm. I thought the Wells way stood for what was right. right. You say, and not to, yep. I don't care about your feelings. Yes. You say, heck, I'm actually giving a doctor massive credit today about his report on these breast implants. And we're talking to a surgeon. And in, in the funny part is, he's not even... A, he's not even a reconstructive dozen that way. He had them removed because of how sick they were sick making her. Was, yeah. Do you say, but that's, that's the tough part. So, so it, the end all be all for them though was just the simple removal of the implants. Mm -hmm. Then what's their next step for helping her with her symptoms? Is there any? Well, or is it well no, no. What happened is, is people turn to medical care because of all those things. Sure. Now she didn't. She came here initially looking for the help, but I'm like, listen, these need to be removed. They need to be removed and stuff because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to help her. Jeez. See, medicine actually, I always tell people, if you're in a lot of pain, take as much drugs as possible. You know why? Just helps you get through. But we gotta <laughs> investigate what's causing all that pain and go there that way. Because yes. I said, coming to a well way isn't cheap. So you're better off, if you're in pain, go take an aspirin if that's we'll all you want. talk about cheap though. She had the surgery and oh. then had to have a removal. So that's yep. not cheap in its own right. No, 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 not at all. It's very expensive. Good and I said, this is an expensive procedure that mm -hmm. way and stuff. So yeah, so it's been um, quite a venture. Been quite a venture watching this, and, and I can't wait to get the other reports. Uh, like I said, she literally texted me before the show and said, "I'm going to get the pictures for you and some of that because they have uh, they showed how the capsule had worn down in certain places where the immune system was just beating on it, beating on it for years, trying to remove it from the body." Do you know what the life expectancy of an implant is? Um, I do not. You saying? And here's what happens: I don't think you can come up with one because everybody's body, body is different. Yeah, reacts differently. You saying? Sure. Everybody's body is different. Some people may break down a year. Some people may be 20 years. You don't know. Yeah. You're saying it all depends the attack, the amount of the immune system does to it. It's it's crazy. Yes. It is. I mean, this. I mean, I'm still looking at so, this list. So let's go back to this. Like, good grief. So once again, I can honestly tell you this. So let's look at some things since I know what women are saying. Say, Doc. Okay, you told me about breast health. Number one. Okay, if you want to keep nice boobies, have good hormone levels. Period. That's where it starts. Okay. So let's start here. All right, get your levels tested. I think I've proven to women that way. You yes. can actually keep your breast health very well. Most women, especially young women, never have their hormones tested, and most women I've ever seen in my life ever have never had them properly tested. Second of all, and now this is where guys, we can give you a little bit of a job here, okay? <laughs> guys, if you're married, if you're not married, stay away from them, okay? Oh when you're married, gosh, then you're, where are we going with okay? this? Okay, no, here's what happens. This is not a joke, okay? This is not a joke. One of the easiest ways to keep breast tissue tight is actually blood flow. Massage Thank the you. Thank you. Let me say that again. And the this more, doesn't mean... <laughs> no, it's no. actually, it's actually, once again, <laughs> you can, well, in a, in a way it does, just not that because you're pinching. You are pinching. Don't pinch a booby. <laughs> My goodness. 
What do I got to teach you? <laughs> my best friend, my best friend doesn't know how to take care of it's boobies. It's not about just copping a field. That's like, right. Uh, no, but it's not a joke. Be nice to the girls. Rubbing the booby is actually important. You like that one? Yeah. Be nice to the girls. Be nice to the girls' boobies, okay? <laughs> it's like rubbing the breast tissue. It's not a joke. Actually, as you actually massage, now here's what happens, ladies. Lymphatics are right here. Guys, wait, not ladies, guys. Okay, understand the facts right here. The more that you rub the tissue and you always drain from the nipple out, okay? You, you, don't, you don't come chest in. I know you're laughing, but this is true. I know okay? it's true. I just said we've never talked about this before. No. We're this close. So I'm going to give you talked. a very honest description. This is not a joke. This is actually a true thing. So I I, we if somebody breasties. flags is inappropriate, it's not inappropriate. This is true breast health. If, if, if a guy, once again, you start by the nipple, you, you circularly ro rotate all around the nipple, and you work yourself back to the lymphatics over here. That drains drain. the breast tissue out. That allows blood flow to come in so toxins and fluid don't get caught in there. Right. And that keeps the breast tissue nice and tight. Second of all, ladies, get your collagen in your diet. Let me say that again. Get your collagen in your diet. That's why vitamin C, which converts to collagen, or actually even having collagen and bone broth and all these things that you want to do, actually keeps your skin very tight. Okay? That keeps the boobies up. All right, that's the biggest thing. Well, this happens because once again, it's like uh, you know, people, women are always like, well, you know, the breast tissue the sag. Well, breast tissue sags because yes, obviously milk production, things like that. But you can keep them tight as you get older by different techniques that way. So, guys, you do have the right to go if you're married, like you just said. That's right, be married. To go and actually have a little bit of hands-on ministry <laughs> to that beautiful bride in your life, and it will actually reap the benefits by keeping the girls. Where they're supposed to be. Yes. So I'm not just copping a field, babe. I've got your best interest in you guys mind. Can set, you guys can set up. A, 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 you can, it's your what? breast interest in your mind. Your breast interest Come in here, mind. Baby. There we go. We got to start, we gotta start a booby campaign. Because there's, oh, there's a breast cancer gosh. awareness. Why don't we start a booby awareness? How to See? take care yeah, of booby awareness campaign. Ooh, October. October, we'll call it that. What are we going to call breast it? Breast cancer awareness is October. So. Breast cancer awareness is October. So we should take the, um, um, wait. Uh, it's in your breast interest. In there we go. That's interest. our name. In your breast interest. The booby challenge. There we go. For the the guys. Yes. And what we'll, we'll do is oh we're gonna Lord. take we're gonna take a, like a symbol that's lime green because it's a wellness way approach. Yeah. And that's our our colors are lime green, gray, white, and black. Okay. So what's the, okay? This challenge or whatever it is. How are we going to document? What are we asking from people? Or are we just telling them to? No. <laughs> we'll, we will we'll set up the exam process. We'll put it out there. What needs to be done? Things to take care of breast health that way. Yes. But here's the point. Comment right now, do me a favor. Yeah, comment right now what you think about this show because I carry around. The only people that sometimes comment are people that are offended. Trust sure. me, I w if you think what I talk about is inappropriate, fine, say it's inappropriate that way. I will attack you. This is good advice. <laughs> I will make you. Uh, like I said, I even call you out by name. I may call you by name. Well, no, I want you to put your name. If you think I'm inappropriate, put it down there. Yes. Do you understand? I really, if you think this is inappropriate talk, we're talking about some most important issues. Can you know what's inappropriate to me? All this bull crap happening, and a woman comes to me crying. Or you know what's inappropriate to me? Here we go, Nancy. Nancy has a friend who's 35 years old. I don't know her, 35 years old. They convinced her to take out her breast tissue and her uterus at 35 years old because she has the BRCA gene. That's inappropriate. The BRCA that's gene? Just, that's language that should, be, that should be penalty by law and stuff like that. Tell them women to get rid of their organs because they have a gene that's actually susceptible that way. That's disgusting talk. That's inappropriate. That's where you should flag people that way. You say because I have a different perspective, mm -hmm. and I use the word boobies instead of breast that way. Right. I'm inappropriate that way. I don't know. I'm a angry person today, but I want you know because you know something. When, when Nancy came, he goes, Doc, I don't understand. <laughs> but you know something, it, Nancy, think about this. I, I was going to ask you. I was waiting for this to go live. A year ago, you would have probably been like, oh, Okay, that makes sense. Would you not have? Probably. Exactly. She said probably. You know what I'm saying? Just out of the fear of no Just out of the fear. Sure. Just out of the fear. See, once again, and that's why we do this show. That's why we talk about these things. We yes. talk about what no one else is willing to talk about. That's right. You understand? And once again, and so comment. If you think what I said today is great, please just just put that on there. You know, just make some positive comment that way to show people that once again, somebody's got to be talking about this stuff. Because I don't want to have to have our doctors have a conversation with another woman that has breast cancer. And if something was was done at a young age, I will tell you right now, my daughters will know all this stuff. My my 15 year old knows how to take care of her breast tissue better than most women. And you've already had your daughters tested for you know you've had the since hormones. They're young. Absolutely, you're since very young. proactive that's versus right. reactive, and that's the problem is that people wait until there's something wrong. wrong. That's medicine. And so we're saying change your thinking and your approach to your own health care. And that's why Dr. Patrick, even though I didn't know about it, 
was willing to talk about this topic today because it is going to become more problematic, especially with yep. young women getting it younger and younger, all these augmentations to yep. their body. Stop it. And it's absolutely crazy. So yep. any final words? Um, breast health is so important. It really is. If there's something, breast health is so important. It's killing women, literally. It's getting younger and younger, and it makes me more frustrated every day when, when the biggest alternative, just like Nancy's friend, is mm. ripple the is breast rip tissue, ripple the, the uterus. Tissue, yeah. It's all based on fear because they don't know what they're doing. You're know saying get tested properly, learn to take care of the breast health, and then you also then we are Nancy. We are going to create a breast how that to take care awesome. of the breast month. For, yeah, for you October, saying, for October, yep. because this stuff has to stop. Absolutely. With that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us again. It's going to be a beautiful rest of your Tuesday. We'll see you next week, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks for joining. Us.